Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a butt ton of filming today. <laughs> um, I am doing, I am working on a review. That's why my hair looks like this. Um, I hope y'all are ready for that review. It's coming. Um, but today we are going to finish up the last part of my stash video. So this portion is going to be comprised of my backups, which I have been keeping over here with my candles, as well as the products that I keep in my closet. Now, don't I do not have a whole product closet, y'all. I said that one day and somebody was like, oh my God, you have a whole closet. And I was like, no, 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 not a whole closet. It's literally like one of them little hangers on the back of the door. <laughs> I do not have a full product closet, y'all. But I wanted to go ahead and share those with you guys just so you can get a full scope of what I have. I think it's cool to share the backups too because more often than not, if I have a backup of something, it's because I really, really like it. So it, today is going to be my backups and my little closet over here, the last little bit of stuff. So if you are interested and seeing me wrap up this stash series and just keep on watching. Okay, y'all. So this is that middle shelf that you guys see behind me in all of my videos. Um, I keep all of my candles here, but I also have moved all of my backup products over here. Before old Rona decided to just breeze through <laughs> and tear everything apart. I actually had found a cabinet that I was going to put here. I'd put the money aside for it and then everything closed. So I wasn't able to get it and take it home. Um, but eventually I plan on putting a cabinet here so that you won't see any of this just to make everything a little bit cleaner. Um, I'm not gonna go through the candles cause I don't think y'all care about that. Um, but those are some of what I own. I racked up pretty good on candle day. <laughs> um, so let's get into the products. I'm just gonna go from the left to my right. And basically like backups for me when I get a backup of something, if it's like a limited edition product, that um, I know I'm going to like or have fallen in love with, I'll get a backup of it. Or if it's something that I use consistently in my routine, I'll get a backup of it. Um, I feel like most of the things that are over here, you guys probably aren't going to be surprised that I have backups. <laughs> so let's start over here. Hi, Ellie. Ellie is sitting like right behind my head. Um, so, First, I have the Sultanical Shea Ayurvedic Butter Shampoo. I need to open this and sniff it because the one that I've had open for not very long already smells like it's going bad. I told you guys this batch that I got from Black Friday and many of you said too that it wasn't, it just wasn't right. So, um, I don't know. I have the feeling that unfortunately I may not be able to even mix this in with something to use it. So... We'll see. I do know that it um it is the same, like it has the same texture and color and everything as the other one. So it wasn't, um, the formulation wasn't right the way that it should be. I do want to try to get the Mega Greens Butter Shampoo, but I mean, I've been getting on like as soon as the website opens when they restock and all the shit is gone. Like at this point, I'm pretty sure people who don't need it are just going on and buying up all the shit to resell because like there's no reason why all of that should be selling out that fast so i do want to get the mega greens about a shampoo but i don't know if that's going to happen and money is tight so i also have the chevy ginger from sultanicals i recently emptied one of these i love me some chevy ginger y'all it's just it's so good and it's moisturizing but it adds a little bit of strength and it smells like like a cinnamon dessert like it just it's so good I love this so much and then some backups of some she sent it favorites the Tahiti cocktail curl enhancing jelly custard love this custard I showed you guys this in a recent haul I went ahead and picked up another one because 
once it really, really starts getting humid out here, I'm going to be using this a lot because this creates like some crazy humidity shield around my head. So I went ahead and got another one of these because I plan on using up two um, just in the summer months alone. And I also got a backup of the Plum Nectar and Agave Moisture Rich Hair Mayo from She Sent It. This is another one of my favorite deep conditioners. Um, I went ahead and just decided to get one because, like I said before, I don't know if it's something that they're going to be discontinuing or if it's something that they're going to keep on their website. So I went ahead and decided to get another one because I didn't want to use up the one that I have and then realized I couldn't buy it anymore. So, um, And I have some more Sultanicals backups. Um, during Black Friday, I got two of a Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask. So this is my backup. I'm almost through the first one that I have. Um, I went ahead and got this just on the off chance that they don't make it permanent. I really do like it though, but I feel like once I'm finished with the second one, I probably won't be eager to buy it again. I don't think I will. So yeah, sorry, y'all can probably hear copper, but... The mailman's coming up the street and I don't feel like pausing for his big mouth. I'm sure this comes as no surprise to you guys. Um, my Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. I had to go ahead and get some extras. Um, I think this, both of these I got during Black Friday. Yeah, because I had one that I was holding on to for dear life um, because... At that time, I didn't think she was going to bring this back anytime soon, and then she did for Black Friday. All of the begging that I did panned out. I hate it when people complain about people, like, being upset that they can't get their favorite products. Like, like why would you be mad at somebody for missing something that they love? Like, just whatever. So, yeah, I have some backups of this just on the off chance that she decides to, you know take it away again but this is like my top deep conditioner from sultanicals it makes your hair so super duper soft and healthy it just feels so good whenever i have this deep conditioner in my hair so i like to keep this around i also use this on my brother when he is in need of a really really good treatment usually he uses the silk elements deep conditioner but i'll pull this one out for him too when he needs a little bit of extra softening and in the back, I have some Oud Rich Infusion Moisture Treatment from Camille Rose. Um, one of my favorite deep conditioners from Camille Rose. Really nice um, moisture treatment. So I like to switch between this and the Nangai and Subaki. I need to get some more Nangai and Subaki um, because I'm definitely missing that. But I'm trying to use up at least one of my TGIN uh, Curl Protein Reconstructors before I buy another Nangai and Subaki. And I also have a backup of the Marula Swirl Deep Hydration Conditioner. Um, I'm happy that I have this backup because she's not going to be doing her spring sale this year. She just made that decision recently. Um, so we don't know if she's going to do a flash sale on this or not, but I feel like she probably won't. So um, I'm happy I have a backup of this because I really like this deep conditioner. It's super duper slippery. Um, and it gives really good hydration and moisture. Um, a lot of you guys suggested this to me and I picked it up during her spring sale for the World Natural Hair Show last year. So super duper happy that I have another one of this um, because I have a feeling that we won't see this return until like 2021. And I also have the Peach Ginger and Quinoa Protein Curl Smoothie. This was not an intentional backup. When I purchased this during Black Friday, um, my original container came busted and it was like more than half empty. So they sent me another one. So it's kind of like an honorary backup because they went ahead and honored that because it like the, the top was completely off it wasn't even like the pat the product was damaged like the top just wasn't screwed on so um they went ahead and sent me another one for my troubles so i appreciate that and then next up i have some camille rose curl maker i purchased this on Am on not amazon on sally's <laughs> um because i had like a I had like a $15 reward or something like that. It was either 10 or 15. So I went ahead and used that on this. So I wouldn't have to pay the full price for it. Um, 
my stuff is always coming from Sally's Busted, but it's fine. Um, I have a bottle of curl maker that I am working on right now. So once I finish that, I will just switch out the pump because they busted the pump on this and go about my business. But yeah, you guys know I've been um, really revisiting curl maker and enjoying that. So I just went ahead and got another one, um, especially because even if she did have the um, spring sale, I never log on quick enough to get some curl maker curl maker always sells out on that sale in like five minutes and i am not about to fight people on the internet for some damn hair gel so i basically got better than the spring sale price with the coupons that i used to get this and the one that i'm using now so um i basically paid ten dollars for both of those whereas i would have paid ten dollars for one during the spring sale so i'm cool with that I also have another of the melanin multi-use leave-in conditioner. Um, you guys already knew that I had this because I told y'all I purchased two. Um, mainly because you get free shipping when you hit, I think, $45. So I got two of the leave-in and one of the twisting cream. And I'm happy that I got a second one because I am definitely using up my leave-in. I actually used this leave-in to do that Bantu knot that you guys saw in my... Um, using up my products video so the majority of what was on my head was actually this leave-in conditioner and then I had a couple of places in the back where I tested the twisting cream I actually think I like the twisting cream results better than the rest of my head even though the rest of my head looked amazing too but that was the majority of what I had was this leave-in so it's definitely multi-purpose I use it for a multitude of things it's a great detangler it's an amazing leave-in conditioner it's just awesome so I, I'm happy that I have another bottle of this. Then I also have some backups from Curl Origin, my Double Moisture Overnight Mask. I'm actually almost finished with this, um, the one that I have on my shelf. So this will be replacing that one soon. And this isn't even a backup. <laughs> I actually finished um, <clears throat> a jar of this. So I actually need to put this on the shelf. Um, this is the Oil & Gel Coiling Custard from Curl Origin. I do have a video featuring both of these products I have videos featuring most of these products I think you guys know that at this point um yeah I, I do a pretty good job of getting the videos out there I be I be trying y'all I be pushing <laughs> but yeah this is a really awesome custard too I do like the new one from the uh honey and hibiscus collection a little bit more than this but she good too she really good too so this really isn't even a backup at this point this is the only one I have and I have two backups of my Mono's Hair Curl Restoring Treatment. I, I love this stuff. Um, I used it before I started filming um, for that braid out on blown out hair that I did. That was the treatment that I used. I used the, oh, uh, what is it called? The Curl Co-Wash. And I also used the Curl Restoring Treatment. I just want to show y'all. This is the one that I have open, and this is how much product I have left after four uses. Four uses. And clearly, y'all see at this point, I've got a lot of hair on my head. Sometimes people don't be thinking I do, but I have a lot of hair on my head. Um, you don't need a lot of this product. You really don't. Sufficient water, and you really don't need a lot of this product. So, I mean, this is only a six ounce container, Guys, there are 8 ounce containers of product that I can't get more than 3 uses out of. And I have gotten 4 uses out of this. This is probably, honestly, I could probably get 2 more uses out of what is left here. So I think that's pretty darn good. Um, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes people use way too much product because they haven't tried not to do so. You know what I mean? Because we're always asking pe brands to give us more product, but then... We have people like Melanin who give us more product, a 16-ounce container, and y'all still using half the 16-ounce container. You know what I mean? Like, is it really the amount of product that you get, or is it just you? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah, you really don't need a lot of this at all. So I love this treatment. You guys saw how good my hair looked just after using the co-wash and the curl restoring treatment in that video before blowing my hair out and as well as how good it looked 
um, when I did my initial Mono's hair review. So this stuff is really good, definitely backup worthy. And it's easy to get the backups of these because the Mono's hair collection always ends up going on sale like a four for 20. So I got these during one of her four for 20 sales. So love that treatment, amazing elasticity treatment. If you need a good elasticity treatment, I highly suggest this baby. Okay. And then, of course, I have a backup of my Mish Lavish leave-in conditioner. And I am so happy that I have a backup of this because I'm almost out of the bottle that I am currently using. And their supplier is not able to ship right now. So if I had waited until I finished the bottle, I wouldn't have been able to get more. So happy that I have this. Um, this, as well as the shampoo are out of stock right now because of the supplier issue. So I think that's going to be an issue for a lot of smaller natural hair brands, unfortunately. So just keep your eye out if you're someone who isn't really into, you know, the stash stuff. I'm going to be trying to do some more videos on brands that you can get in big box stores. Um, that way you have options if, you know, your favorite natural hair brands are out of the products that you need or you just can't float that right now. So I am going to be a little bit more conscientious of trying to make sure I do that for you guys so y'all have some options, things that can easily get to you or things that you can easily go out and pick up. But I love my lavish leave-in conditioner, one of the best leave-in conditioners on the market in my humble opinion. And I'm sure there's no shock on this one. This is the Ren Pierre Coconut Crime Curling Jelly Styling Gel. Um, you guys know that I have this in my um, products that I am working on using Up Pile. I don't have a lot of that other bottle, so once I finish that, I will open up this. Been one of my favorite curling jellies for years. It just never fails me. I also have the TGIN Miracle Repair Protective Leave-In Conditioner um, and the Quench 3-in-1 co-wash conditioner i'm not gonna lie y'all i only have backups of these because they were five dollars she did a five dollar sale on the sneak um so i picked up a couple of things so um i am working through one of these and i actually haven't opened this yet i haven't tried this yet i have one sitting over at my desk um to use for a video so I'll let y'all know how it goes, this backup. If I don't end up liking this co-wash, then I'll, I'll probably give it away, put it in a giveaway pile. But I do know that I like this leave-in conditioner, so she's staying, she real good. Um, Have some Unicurl and some more Miche backups. The Unicurl 4-in-1 Styler. This is the one that came out of the Curl Fantasy box. Um, so I have a backup of this, even though I didn't feel like I needed a backup because I, I don't use a lot of this. When I do use it, it don't take much. Like, it, it really don't take much for my curls. So it's going to be a minute before I get through the other one. Um, but I'm actually thinking about giving this to my brother. But I like having another one here. I also like to be able to compare the packaging because the packaging has changed over the last, like, few months. So... But this is amazing. It's totally backup worthy. If you have used this product, then you know what I mean. I also got backups of the Peppermint Candy Cane Deep Conditioner and the Warm Sugar Cookie Deep Conditioner. I have videos on both of these products, but I actually really, really enjoyed both of these products. And I hope she brings them back um, for the next holiday season. But they're only 8-ounce containers, so I went ahead and I got backups of each before they sold out but these are really good you know sometimes brands do holiday releases and they just don't match up to their original lines but these deep conditioners are dope they have some similar qualities to the indulge and the strengthen but they are very different in formulation and they do provide different results so i love these and y'all knew I had to have a backup of Strengthen. Strengthen is one of my all-time favorite deep conditioners. So I like to have a backup of her. I don't keep backups of Indulge because I'm not obsessed with adult, with Indulge the way I am with Strengthen. But I always have to have a backup of her. And the way it's looking for the suppliers for me is probably a good thing that I have a backup right now. <laughs> I do have a bottle of the... 
um, flaxseed curly custard from Nature's Little Secret. This is the thicker formulation. So the ingredients are the same, but it, it has been whipped into a thicker consistency. I've been asked to do a review specifically on this. I'm going to be using it in other videos because you guys do know I am now an ambassador. You can use my code third eye 20 to get 20% off of your purchase. So, um, I absolutely love the flaxseed curly custard. I was excited when I heard that they um, thickened it a little bit, but I won't be doing like a specific video on this though, because I feel like it's just a little too repetitive, but you guys will see the thicker, the thicker formulation in videos um, so that you guys can, you know, see the difference. But I do have a backup of her. And I also have a backup of the Mono's Hair Curl Setting Gel. I really like this in the spring and summer months. Really good for humidity and it doesn't take a lot to do the job for me. So I went ahead and got a backup of that. As well as the Curl Styling Potion. This actually isn't a backup. I did not own this, but I did pick it up because I wanted to own it. <laughs> um, like I said, they're always on 4 for 20 sales, so... I went ahead and picked this up because I wanted to see how this worked with the curl setting gel in comparison to um, the combination that I did in that Mona's hair video. So um, I'll probably be using this soon because I don't foresee myself going through that curl primer very fast because it's super duper liquidy. So I'll probably be using this soon to compare and see which one I like better. I also have a backup of the uh, Unicurl Daily Moisturizing Leave-In Spray. Y'all, I love this leave-in conditioner. So I'm so happy that I have a backup of it. Um, I believe this one came in that Curl Fantasy box as well that Alexis sent me. Um, and I'm already halfway through the other one. I love using this underneath the Curl Fantasy Gel as well as the custard. So really really good leave-in conditioner to have do not let the texture fool you don't underestimate this because she liquidy because this packs a punch this has so much moisture in it for a liquidy leave-in spray so i absolutely love this and i have a feeling that i'm going to be uh putting this up on the shelf very soon and i also have a backup of the main choice prickly pear Paradise leave-in conditioning cream. I really like this leave-in conditioner. Feels really great in the hair. So I went ahead and got a backup of that. I think most of these backups that I have, I picked up when she did that 60% off sale because I mean, 60% off a main choice is quite the steal. I also have another curl forming custard. Um, This was sent to me, so shout out to Alexis. Um, but she did change the packaging on this one too. The other one that I have is um, like in a clear container. This one is white and opaque. Um, the other two that I have are the ones that melted in shipment. Um, and this is the proper formula. I can shake it and know that it's the proper formula because it's not. Like when you shake the other one, you can hear how flippity floppy liquidy they are. They still perform though. My results were amazing. Um, so super duper happy to have this. I'm sure there is absolutely no surprise that I have two of these. <laughs> um, Bold Buttery Gel is bae. Bold Buttery Gel is bae. So, of course, I have to have backups of her. Um, Sally's recently did a sale 50% off of the um, Do It For The Culture collection. And I'm more than halfway through the container that I have on my desk now. So, I went ahead and got two more so I don't have to get any for a while. I also have a backup of the Cheers Gelato. I think I also got this when she did that 60% off sale. Um, I want to try to make an effort to use my Cheers Gelato more. I want to be as obsessed with this as Quinn Ray is, but so far, um, Bull Buttery Gel is to me as Cheers Gelato is to Quinn Ray. <laughs> but I really do want to work on... Um, using this more and I think part of that is just finding the main choice leave-in or a leave-in from another collection that I prefer with this. I really like the hold that it gives but it's so sticky so um, I'm going to be putting my other one that's on the shelf in this to a lot of use during the summer. 
Okay, and then last up over here in the backups, I do also have a backup of the, the Exotic Kool-Aid, Sweet Pineapple and Papaya Infinite Conditioner. Really like this leave-in from the main choice, so I went ahead and got another one when she did that 60% off. Um, and this actually isn't a backup because I have used this up. I need to put this on the shelf. This is the Accomplished Triple Layer Leave-In, the companion to the Bold Buttery Gel. I really like this leave-in conditioner. She's thicker than most of the main choice leave-in conditioners um so I do find that with this specifically I do get a little bit more of a less voluminous look because it is a little bit thicker um but I also like to use this with the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic I got a dope wash and go with this and Uncle Funky's Curly Magic so this with that and the bowl buttery gel I also want to try this with um the curl maker and see how that goes but this is a really really nice leave-in conditioner especially if you're someone who prefers more of like a leave-in cream situation then I highly suggest checking this out and this is also I'm sure no surprise I have two backups of my five minute um reviving mask from the pink the pink lemonade and coconut collection absolutely love this deep conditioner so good so i always have at least two backups of these um i actually go through them relatively quickly because the one that is up on the shelf um i literally just put up there because i recently went through one of these so <laughs> i always have at least two because she's another one of those deep conditioners in my stash that I can literally, like, if I have a bad deep conditioner day or whatever, I just slap this in for five minutes and rinse my hair, and it's like that bad deep conditioning session never happened. So, love this. And I also have two two backups of the deep strengthening um, and restore green tea and carrot deep conditioner from the main choice. These were not intentional. These actually came in the... Um, the cheers box that we got so we got the entire collection when we purchased that cheers box um we got the entire cheers collection and then we also got these two babies right here and i think she put in like a really pretty like main choice beer mug too it was really cool so we got two of these so um i'll never have to purchase the deep condition this deep conditioner again um like i said it's a really really good deep conditioner and i will finish it up i actually use it relatively frequently especially if i need some strength but um it's not my favorite main choice deep conditioner so these were sent in a collection box and last but not least i have um some pearly braid out glaze i go through this about evenly with the bowl buttery gel so i have one that's up there that i showed you guys in my last um episode of the stash video that's like a little more than halfway empty love using this gives like that i like to say that deep wave fresh out the pack look so i always like to have a backup of this because this is another gel that i go through fairly quickly this one and bowl buttery gel are the main choice gels that i cycle out the most um, so this is actually one, another one of my like favorite masks from the main choice. I showed this in that um, Balance Deep Conditioners video. This is really good. I feel like this is one of those products in the main choice that has just gotten a resounding yes from the entire natural hair community. But this mask is dope. I feel like it works for just about every hair type out there. So had to have a backup of this. I also got another of the Exotic Kool-Aid Fresh Mango and Passion Fruit Mask. Um, you guys know when I initially did the um, review for this, I used a hair tool that really interfered with my results. So I revisited it and I ended up loving it. So I did actually get another one of these. I liked it enough to have another one in the stash. So this is really good. It's super duper thick. Um, but when you really get it worked in, have a good amount of water in your hair, work this in and then sit underneath your deep conditioning cap for like 20 25 minutes i mean it just makes your hair so luscious if you want that like really nice hydrated to the point where your hair feels just a tad bit weighty this will give you that so i like to have this in my collection too and this also is no longer a backup anymore um this is the prickly pear paradise apply to dry overnight mask i recently emptied this in my last empties video y'all i love this stuff um, 
like I've said before, I'm not really a fan of creamy pre-poo conditioners because I feel like you use a ton of the product to get it through your hair. Um, but this one I can actually get multiple uses out of. I think the last one that I emptied, I got four uses out of it. Um, I'm very particular about when I use my Prickly Pear collection, and I feel like the Prickly Pear collection is built for specific needs. Um, really, all the products in the main choice are, and a lot of people just don't read all the information that they give you. I feel like main choice products are packed with information on their labels if you take the time and read them and think about what it is that your hair needs then you'll find what is best for you. But if you don't really know your hair well, then you're going to be lost. Um, this, the Prickly Pear Collection for me is perfect on my flare-up days. Those days where I can't stand in the shower for long and I'm not feeling well. So if I'm having a flare-up, I will come home. If it is a wash day and I happen to have a flare-up on a wash day, I will come home and I will slap this in my hair. Um, just dirty hair. And it takes literally nothing. It takes maybe like five, six minutes for me to get this distributed throughout my entire head. Put a plastic cap on, throw a bonnet over it, and I will go get my heating pad, take some medicine, and lay down. And I can leave this in overnight. Then I get up the next day, rinse it out, add the foam um, cleanser, and then I will proceed with styling. Um, I usually style with the leave-in conditioner and whatever styler of my choice. And this is perfect for those of us who just cannot wash our hair that day. Like if I have to make it, you know, if I'm in a situation where I cannot wash my hair that day, this is perfect. So I love having this around. It's a dope pre-poo. It works really well just as a, you know, general deep conditioner if that's what you want to do. But I do like using it for its intended purposes, for its intended purpose, and it works really well. Um, and if you can catch a good sale, like, this can potentially be a, an affordable pre-poo for you if you catch a good sale for it. So I really, 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 really love this Apply to Dry Overnight Mask. It's dope. It's super duper effective and it just makes my hair feel like butter. So, so that is like my backup section. So whenever I run out of something that I use often, I just go and pull it and I'm Gucci. So yeah, like this kind of gives you an idea of the stuff that like if you got rid of my entire product shelf tomorrow, what I would likely like have just on its own, you know, um, minus like shampoos because I don't really get backups of shampoo. I've just never been that type of person. So I don't really get backups of like shampoo and stuff like that. But like my stylers and deep conditioners and things like that, like these are mostly like the things that you know if I have a backup of it you know that if I just had to get rid of everything tomorrow then that's what would be in my stash so yeah um this is the candle on the backup shelf now let's move on to my closet and that will be it for the stash okay guys so we are finally down to the end of the stash video so if you've seen my old stash video you know that I still have this this is really really old and really really weathered we've had it since we were back in our old house in virginia like 16 years ago <laughs> so um these are things that honestly like i didn't know where to put stuff that i know i'm not gonna reach for all the time a lot of these came out of curl boxes y'all know how disappointed i was with curl box so it's no surprise that these are in here some of these are really old and um Actually, most of these aren't, but there's like a couple of things up top that are old and probably need to go. So um, I have this African Pride edge control chilling up here because I'm going to give that away. It's black and I just, mm -mm. I tried using it and it looked like I put tar on my edges. It was a mess. I have an old flat iron here, a chi. I haven't used that in like two plus years i can't tell you the last time i flat ironed my hair um i also have this shea moisture um blow dry cream that came out a while back when they tried to do like that professional line and it didn't do very well <laughs> um this gave me a very stiff blowout no matter how little product i use so it's not something that i pulled out again and it's probably time for me to throw it out i also have a bottle of OGX Coconut Curls Conditioner. 
Um, I picked this up because I heard a lot of people talk about it. I'm like halfway through the bottle. I don't use this often because it's just okay. Like it's not as amazing as everyone says it is. Um, and I have some TGIN sample packets. They always send little sample pillow packs whenever you make an order from the website. So I just keep those over there. And then I have my brushes that are due to be washed. <laughs> um, my Dimmin, my Philips Flexi brush, and then my shower brush. Um, my shower comb, not a brush. <laughs> so these are actually due to be washed. So I will be working on that. Probably today they need to get cleaned out and get some, some soap and water on there. And then I have some Urban Hydration stuff. I shared these um, in a video like right at the top of winter, basically like my winter stash. And I had intended on using these more, but um, that, that really didn't happen. So I need to work on trying these because I know some of you do want reviews on these. So I have the... This is the Jamaican Castor Oil and Avocado Styling Gel. And I think this one is the Honey. Yeah, this is the Honey um, Argan and Vanilla Bean one. So I've seen like a couple of videos on these and it came out really good. So I really do need to use those. Um, but I've kind of focused on some other things. So I need to go ahead and open these up soon. I also have this OGX Coconut Curls Curling Hair Butter Leave-In or Rinse Out. Um, I've used this and it was actually really nice. Um, I don't have much of it left. There's not a lot in this to begin with, but it is a really nice, um, I like to use it as a leave-in. I don't really use it as a hair butter, but when I was doing, um, when I had like all that crazy buildup and stuff, I did like to use this, um, for my cream wash and goes so it's good for that too it's a really nice like curling cream um i had the argan oil one but i actually sent that off to my cousin so um and then i also have this uh locking coconut curls finishing mist this is basically like a hairspray but this one i find to be very drying um the only hairspray that i like and use is the main choice peach black tea one um smells good but that's about it this came in a curl box um it was not popping i'll just say that it was not popping i also have the suave naturals line that also came in a curl box so i do have the sulfate free shampoo and the moisturizing curl conditioner I haven't used these yet, but I plan to. I've heard really, really good things about it. Um, as well as the Curl Defining Cream, so I also have that. Um, I felt like there was one more product that we got from that, but I might have given it away. Um, I don't know. I might be tripping. But I think I might have given... I don't know. That box was weird because they didn't give everything they could have given in that that curl box was just odd y'all y'all can see why i'm not the hugest fan of my curl boxes i did a video all about like the curl box subscription and showed you guys what i got in each and i wasn't really happy with the subscription love this the like non-sub boxes and stuff and the dope deals but the actual subscription i wasn't very happy with um i also have this bottle of the coconut curls make it last wash and go primer i actually had this sent to me via influencer so i didn't go out and buy this this was sent to me and i haven't used it but i've heard really good things about this though this and the jelly from the wash and go collection from shea moisture the coconut custard stuff so let me know how y'all feel about that um i don't really support shea moisture for personal reasons but i'm not beyond trying things if i have a really 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 good coupon you know so we also got this in a curl box um this tresemme compressed micro mist um for some reason like when i was subscribed to curl box we just got a whole lot of damn hairspray so i kept this just on the off chance that i decide to ever you know flat iron or if i had like a set or something and i needed some like 
hairspray hairspray I have it but it's not really something that I would really use and I don't really have anyone around me that would use anything like that um but it may come in handy with some like when I start practicing these rod sets and stuff so I'm gonna keep it um I have like a teeny tiny little bit of this Pantene leave-on detangling milk this really wasn't that good at all I have a video on the Pantene Gold Series collection, and overall, I was pretty lukewarm about it. Um, it just didn't feel like it really had any moisture. Like, I was missing the moisture in this. Like, I'm fine with you having cones, but you need to have, you need to, you need to deposit some moisture in my hair first. And the line didn't really do that for me, so I have a little bit of this left. She'll be out of here soon. I, I did get, probably the only thing that I'm really... No, there's another one that I'm excited about too, but we did get the Palmer's Natural Fusions collection in a curl box. I showed you guys the deep conditioner over there on my shelf. Obviously, it's not over here because that thing ain't going to fit. <laughs> um, so, this is the Natural Fusions collection. So, I have the Rose, the Rose Water Micellar Cleanser. Um, this is supposed to be a clarifier. So, I definitely want to try this out. I want to see. I don't think it's similar in texture to the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight, but I do want to see if it gives me like the a similar like feel, you know what I mean, after I rinse it out. I also have my little edge brush in here. Um, we got this in the African Pride box. I just skipped over the African Pride products that were sitting right in my face. Um, <laughs> I have the butter from them. The black castor oil prep and leave-in moisture butter which I actually do really like so I kept this um and I also have the oil the sealing oil I plan on giving this away because first of all I don't need any more oil but I feel like this is better suited for someone that does like braids and stuff like that which is really what that line was geared toward um I have there's also a gel from this collection. It's in a similar tub. I showed it in my Disappointing Products video um, that I did use. I used it to do a braid out after I blew my hair out and got it cut last year. And I liked this, but I didn't like the gel. The gel is basically like a big jar of edge control. So I think I have an idea of who I'm going to give that this in the edge control too so that's why those are hanging out those are waiting to be given to be given away um and i also have the lavender rose water conditioner from the natural fusions collection i feel like it makes a lot of sense for this to have this top but i don't feel like it makes a lot of sense for a conditioner to have this top because it's not thin like it's not runny <laughs> But um, a lot of you guys said you still did want to see some more reviews on Palmer. So I'll definitely be doing that. Um, maybe like a big box series or something. Um, it also came, that curl box came with the Natural Fusions Mallow Root Leave-In Conditioner. Which I was really interested in trying. And it also came with, of course, the oil. I also got way too much oil out of that curl box. I was really disappointed because I was like, they had a really cool styler in this collection. And instead of giving us the oil, they could have just given us the styler. Like, I don't need an oil in every curl box, you know? Like, that's not... I feel like oil isn't really a must-have in a hair routine. Like, no one is going to be able to just do a style with this. Like, so that was kind of disappointing. I was hoping that instead of the oil, we would have gotten the cream styler from the collection but I have it and I will likely not open this and not demo it and just give it away to somebody um because I mean it's just an oil <laughs> um and then last but not least I typically keep like my hair ties these are the um these are from what is it skunky or whatever um, but these are the active ones, so they're like rubber, and they don't have any, uh, like, um, metal clasp or anything on that, so I prefer these when I'm doing my hair, 
um they last a really long time it takes a good minute for them to like break i keep my clips in here um a lot of my clips and stuff are sitting on my desk from the styling videos i've been doing um so that's usually where i keep those um and i usually keep my hair dryer in here too that's where it's usually sitting right here but i have it um it's sitting on my bed because I'm getting ready to go sit underneath it. <laughs> um, and then this is the last um, selection of things that I got from my curl box. I have the Lot of Body Milk and Honey Restore Me Cream Shampoo. This shampoo actually seems kind of promising, so I do want to try it out um, and see how it goes. But I think I'm going to give this away. Um, cause you guys haven't really expressed interest in it. Um, I also have the cream conditioner, the milk and honey nourish me leave-in conditioner, which also sounds very promising. It has a really nice texture and this collection smells really, really good. Um, and then we also got the Lotta Body, um, Define Me curl defining mousse in the box as well i did want to try this mousse um because i hear a lot of good things about the lot of body mousses but um i have an idea of who i'm going to give this away to if i can actually get a box to this person shipped out before um you know without having to go over to usps apparently you can do that now so um i think i'm gonna send that this to a friend these products because I just don't use mousses like that. And I have certain mousses in my collection that I really like. Um, I don't feel like I need this. And I don't feel like you guys want a, a video on it. It's It hasn't been requested at any capacity. Um, like the Palmers, I've gotten requests for. The Suave, I've gotten requests for. But I feel like the lot of body stuff, just in general, I don't get requests for on my channel. So it's not something that I'm really going to fuss with. And then last but not least, I have this Urban Hydration Argan Oil and Vanilla Bean. I think, yeah, this is the Style Cream, which is something else that I've been meaning to try out. I shared this with you guys in that um, Winter Stash video, so I need to work on that. As well as the avocado and argan oil leave-in conditioner i've heard great things about this leave-in which is why i picked it up i got all of the urban hydration stuff from marshall's um you can typically find them in there so i definitely want to try this out because it has a really nice texture so um i think i'm gonna focus on emptying out some of the things that i showed you guys in that like um use up the stash video and then once those are good i'll open up urban hydration and we'll kind of take a look at her but yeah i know when y'all heard my closet y'all probably thought the whole closet was full of hair products and i promise you it's not it's literally just this a lot of times like things that i can't fit on the shelf go over here or things that just don't have my attention go over here so and a lot of times i end up like something will make it in here and then it will end up in a box to send to somebody so <laughs> or it'll end up to a box that goes to a shelter so I do donate and, you know, send products to my friends. Um, I don't know why people be all up in my grill about that. But, yeah, I do. But I think people don't believe you unless, you know, you showing it for clout on the gram or whatever. So, yeah. That is the last little bit of stuff that I own. So, that is it. That is everything in my stash minus the stuff that I hauled, like, a week ago. <laughs> um, but y'all already know that I have it, so... But yeah, so that is my workspace, my shelf, and now you guys know what I have as my backups as well as the few things that I keep in my closet. Like I said, I give away to people. I donate stuff to people. Um, I just don't be showing it and flexing because it's not the point. That's not why you donate to shelters, you know? Um, but yeah, so those are the tools of the trade. I get sent stuff. Um you guys want reviews reviews require products so this is pretty much everything that i have and i think i do a pretty decent job of cycling out of a lot of things so um like i said in my last two videos if you've seen things that you know i don't have a video on let me know if it's something that you want to see i really hope that you guys enjoyed this stash series i really enjoyed filming it for you guys 
um and i think i'll probably like update like stash videos like maybe every one or two years you know um depending on how i change my organization and cycle through stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and supporting these videos you guys have been so super duper support supportive of this series i know a lot of you guys have been enjoying it um it's just crazy the positivity that i've gotten on these videos so thank you guys so much for supporting i know it's something you guys have been wanting to see for a hot ass minute um it's definitely encouraged me to continue to work through getting through my stash and reminded me of some things that i need to make sure i do videos on too <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye